Sometimes life can be really annoying. <laughs> I have just filmed the weekly makeup basket with all the information of the last makeup box, um, my lipstick collection, um, which looks like this. Put everything away, cleaned up, when to start editing and I cannot find the footage anywhere. And I know it recorded because I saw it there. So <sighs> when life chucks you lemons, make lemonade. So you guys get the short version this week. So sorry. But anyway, hi guys, welcome back. I'm so sorry. I know I've been missing for three weeks. I have been super busy at work. I've been on the road around the country. We've had a new store opening and I just have not had the energy to drag myself in front of a camera and um, be creative on film. So not that I'm overly creative on film anyway, but that's where I've been. So I do have some great videos coming up soon. I've got a catch up on my um, toning serum, how I've been finding that. I've got some makeup tutorials that I'm going to attempt, the pretty basic ones, but you know, if you're just starting out with makeup or you want to just get some inspiration for some of the colors that Mary Kay consultants use, then I've got those coming up. Um, but anyway, this week for the second time, I'm going to film my weekly makeup basket. So just very quickly for the last three weeks, I have been using the same makeup basket. So I will link the last video down below just so that you can catch up. Pretty much I loved everything. The There was only really one product that I wasn't that happy with and that was the liquid eyeliner. And it's not the product, it's just the colour. I don't find it very black. I prefer my gel eyeliner. But if you're a beginner starting out with liquid eyeliner, this is a fantastic tool for doing it. It comes like a felt pen. So it's very, very easy um, to apply and the thing is is how I like to do it is just put the pen on its side and you do little dots along the, the bottom of your lash line there and then you can just go back over and connect them all up so instead of trying to draw a line and be accurate it's much easier to just press it against the roots of your lashes so really really easy so um, let's get into the basket and I'll quickly go through all the things that I am keeping from the last few times. So things I'm keeping, I've got, oh God, I've got lipsticks dropping everywhere. We'll talk about that in a minute. So I've got loose powder. I've got about a teaspoon left. Isn't it funny how the things that you're really trying to use up take the longest to get rid of. Um, my foundation, I've gone back to beige three. So we're just starting to get a little bit of cooler weather. We've still got some hot weather coming, but I probably won't be self tanning as much now. So I've gone back to beige three, whereas last week I was on beige five. Uh, what else we got here? Oh my God, it's just not going well today. <laughs> um, SPF 15 face primer, loving this stuff. My tube's getting quite empty, so we're uh, tracking through this pretty nicely. Um, but anyway, there's still a few more weeks left in there. Eye primer, um, brow tint, still absolutely loving this product. Really, really good. Um, what's this one? Under eye corrector. Oh my god, I am needing a lot of this at the moment. I am having some serious tiredness under my eyes with dark circles. It's just work at the moment is really, really exhausting. So I'm going through a ton of this. I've never been a huge concealer user until recently. So loving that product. The lip primer, still using this, absolutely loving it. And the great news is, is they've just brought this product back to New Zealand. We haven't had it for a couple of years, so this was my last one. Um, but anyway, they've decided to bring it back. So yay, if you love this product. I've got the liquid eyeliner, which I just talked about. Ultimate mascara, of course. I've just opened a new one. And then the things that I'm going to be using this week. So for eyes, I have got this palette here. This is the um, the emerald palette. Oh my goodness, I love these colors. That one in the center is just beautiful. Not just the color, but the actual texture of the shadow. Even though it's a powder, it just feels like a cream. It is so um, luxurious feeling. They really knocked the formula out of the park with this one. Um, I wish they'd go back to creating more like these. And the two browns are beautiful and of course the two greens are just gorgeous as well. So I've got that one. 
Um, then for something just on the opposite colour spectrum, I've got the At Play at, in Neapolitan. These are beautiful. I've talked about these before. They're just nice neutral shades. You've got the pink, the chocolate and the cream. They've got some shimmer, but not overly shimmery. So love those. And I think I can do some good colours with mixing and matching both little palettes. Then for blush, I've got the Juicy Guava. The camera doesn't pick up the colours of this very well. I am wearing it today. It is the most beautiful orangey melon colour. It is really bright. I can almost get it to the creek there. It's really bright and you don't need much. A little bit is best. And then just build up your cover um, as you need to. And then this side here is the highlighter, which you can put over the top of the blush. Or you can use it as a highlighter or as an eyeshadow. Just absolutely gorgeous colour. And then the other one I've got here is, it's a NYX one in Rose Garden. My little compact is broken. Um, this is just a beautiful rosy pink blush. I bought this when I was in the States just to try a different brand. And I love this colour. It's just really a natural pink flush. So really, really loving that. And what I like to always do is I like to have sort of your warmer, more orangey melon tones. And then I like to have some pink ones as well. Just So just depending on my feelings for the day on which way I want to go I'm lucky enough I can sort of wear both and I think most women should be able to wear both but the trick is on is what sort of colors that you mix and match with then I've got um, the eyeliner on the black this is gorgeous I love this gel eyeliner um, it's just creamy it's jet black it stays on it's easy to apply um, and then for bronzer I've picked this one this is the physician's formula Oops, the little brush just fell out. Looks like this. It's so pretty, but I don't know that I really love the formula that much. The colours are beautiful. It just doesn't really come off that well. And I don't know whether it's just some colours. It's very subtle. Like, you really have to dig in to get some colours out, which probably suits me quite well when I'm fair. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to go at the moment. But anyway, we'll keep plugging away at this one. Um, it's not the best. Okay, and then lip colours. So this is, I filmed this in the last video and this is um, just all the footage got lost. But basically, this is my lipstick scenario at the moment. And this isn't even all of them. There is more lipsticks in the cupboard behind me. There is lipsticks in my handbags. There is lipsticks in my Mary Kay kit that need cleaning out. I've just got lipsticks everywhere and I'm not that I'm a lipstick nut but you know just over the years through doing Mary Kay you end up building up quite a collection um, you have the ones from your kits and then they discontinue colors um, so you end up with quite a few so I really really want to have a declutter and a clean out there, there are some in here that I have not used for a long time and I probably won't because they're not my colors or I don't like those colors anymore they're not on trend the formulas could be a bit dried up, I don't know. Some of them have been at the bottom of this container for quite some time because I can't get at them. So I just need a new system and I need to work my way through cleaning them up. So what I've done is I've ordered a um, lipstick holder from Amazon and I'm going to cull right down and I need to work out what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to get rid of, um, and I need to try all of these. So for the next however many makeup basket weeks it's going to take we're going to try some of these colors so um, I have now already pre-picked out three colors and a gloss um, when I filmed this the first time around you saw me umming and ahhing um, with how I was going to do this so you get to miss all of that this time anyway so what we've got here is the first one I've picked is toffee caramel do you guys remember this it is a beautiful colour. This was one of my top sellers when I was um, actively doing parties. Um, it's just one of those colours that really, really suits everyone. It's the colour I'm wearing today. Um, it's a beautiful apricotty warm brown. Um, it's just very natural looking and it suits everybody. So love this one. Then I've got a Revlon Balm Stain in the colour Honey. Honey is actually a pink so I don't know why they call it honey, but anyway, I have really, really loved this color. You get a lot of product in one of these. 
and they smell like peppermint. This is how much product I've got left. I've been using this for a long time and I've used it heaps. To give you comparison, let me just wind up one of the ones I haven't used so much. This one is in the colour Crush, number five. So here you go, you can see the difference. I have for honey used quite a bit, but you can see how much product you get in one of these. So I'm pretty sure you can still buy these, whether you can still get the same colours or not, I'm not sure. But they're a great formula. Um, they stay on really nicely, they wear nicely, so um yeah i'm going to use the honey one this week and then the third lipstick i've got is whipped berries so also one of these old signature range ones not much of this one left this also was one of my top sellers um, i really wish they would bring these colors back the formulas were great the colors were great customers just loved them we had these ones for so long i feel like we're just chopping and changing too much now so I don't know if anyone else feels the same or whether it's me and I just can't keep up, but these were great lipsticks. So we've got that one. And then for gloss, I've got this one. Um, I don't know the name of it, sorry, it just says Lip Shimmer, but it's a beautiful sort of an apricot-y colour. You can't really see it too much there. Um, it's got a sort of apricot-y pinky colour and it's got a gold shimmer through it, so not enough colour there but I thought that would be quite nice over the top of any of those colours just in case I want a little bit of gloss. So there you go that's uh, take two of the weekly makeup basket for this week so like I say I've got heaps more videos coming so stay tuned and I do apologise for not being around for the last few weeks um, it is what it is and I always knew that this was going to be the problem so I do what I can um, but yeah, shout out to Jennifer for sending me a reminder and thank you for your support. I always really, really appreciate it and I love chatting with you guys. So feel free to leave me comments always. So until next time, I will see you all soon and have a great week. Thanks guys. Bye.